boys, welcome back. And you caught me in the middle of something. I'm just hyping myself up because I have a new great idea for today. Because, you know, I'm a fucking genius, man. I definitely came up with this idea. So, okay, so at least I'm the first one to do it in the GTA community because everyone else around in this community kind of sucks. So, <clears throat> without further ado, let's get on to what this video is really about. It's about bingo. We're playing some bingo today. So yeah, I made a bingo card. I have a whole card. And I made this like a month ago, and then I put it off. But then I realized I should probably record it and upload it soon. I just want to get it up before any of these things actually do happen. Because I know for a fact I'm getting blackout on this card. And you're going to see why. You're going to understand that I'm a fucking genius. So without further ado, let's get the first prediction in here. And it's pretty obvious. Kale Preco nerf. It's going to happen. Watch. They're going to do something. They're just going to down the payment like by 2% or something like 0.002% it's gonna happen they're gonna do something to screw you over next up we got new god mode glitches it's gonna happen where they're gonna give us new god mode glitches it happens every time they make an update no matter what they do whether they're just taking something out for like two seconds it's gonna happen they're gonna make a new god mode glitch wasn't there a glitch where if you just stand next to a arena for vehicle it gives you god mode like i don't know they, they do they have god mode glitches all the time so, uh, yeah, I have a feeling they're going to give a new one to us, and it's going to be really fucking annoying, and they're not going to patch until June, probably, June, next year, June. Anyways, I'm not trying to fire shots at TGG, but here's what I am saying. He's going to upload six times within the first two days of the release. That's what he's going to do. He's going to give us, you know, six videos. Some of them are going to be like, this could have waited, bro, but, you know, that's what he's going to do. He's going to give us six videos at least in the first two days, and honestly... I didn't do my research. I don't know what his upload schedule or whatever is like when he um, uploads. So, on updates, anyway, I have no idea what he does. I'm just assuming that he uploads a lot. So, that's all I'm saying. Next up, and I don't know what I meant by this, but GTA Men Crash Out. I don't know what I meant by that. I'm pretty sure I just meant GTA Men's going to get mad at something. And he's going to be screaming at his microphone for like five minutes because G Rockstar did something wrong. I'm pretty sure this happened last year or something which is why I put it in here. I really don't know why I put it in here. I made this like a month ago. So, um, yeah, that's that's my prediction for GTA men, you know, taking shots at YouTubers right now. Next, they are going to patch a money glitch. Now, I know this one's crazy. This might not even happen, you know, you never know, but they're going to patch a money glitch or they're going to ban some people for doing money glitches. They're going to do something to do with money glitches, but probably just going to patch it. Final answer they're going to patch the money glitch. That's all I got to say. Next, they're going to release across the map missions. <laughs> so yeah, they're going to give us across the map missions. Um, like always, you know, we're going to be starting in the docks and then we're going to end up in Polito Bay. But then we're going to have to go back to said docks. So yeah, um, really excited for that. Re really ex excited. Re yeah. Next, they're going to give us a new annoying character like the ones from the car update I forgot what it's called the tuners um the one chick and the one dude you think they're like that shit but like they're just fucking random npcs yeah um yeah they're gonna give us annoying characters like that i don't think the last year's ones were annoying i don't think i don't think the ones they gave us last year or during the summer were annoying although i didn't really play the summer update at all so i don't know but from what I've seen, they aren't annoying, so what well, hasn't been bad recently, but they might give us a new annoying character that walks us through the missions, or at least will be a part of the missions, you know, because we might not get annoying characters. It hasn't happened in a while, so we'll have to see. Um, see, definitely getting blackout already. Look at these predictions. We're definitely getting blackout. Next, we're going to, the most obvious fucking one, so, you know, I want to get out of the way, because I'm kind of ashamed of myself. They're going to give us overpriced items. I know, I know, crazy. They're going to give us a t-shirt. That's worth $20,000. And say what you will about the economy in the game. $20,000 is a bit much for a t-shirt. So, uh, yeah, uh, they're going to give us overpriced items like that. I'm not going to count cars because cars are just all over the place. I don't even know what's overpriced for the cars in the game at this point. Probably 5 million or something. Plus, I already have a separate prediction for a car anyway. Moving on. They're going to bring back a character from story mode. Big prediction. I know, but they've done it like... I think they've done it twice in a row. I can't remember what the other update before the Yo Yusuf Amir update was, but they've done it twice in a row now. Um, so, yeah, uh, shout-out to all the homies that played 
Dada Gay Tony. That was a fire game. Oh my god. So yeah, that's my prediction. They're gonna bring back a character from story mode. They're going to remove another fun feature for no reason. They did this a couple months ago. They removed the hat and mask glitch. Um, at least I'm pretty sure they removed it for some reason. They did the same thing with like a cargo bob glitch where you could fit like 20 people in there by blowing off the back. Pause, no diddy. Yeah, I have a feeling they're gonna do that again. They're gonna do something like that because they're assholes. They're going to release a new RC vehicle because why not? Because they want everyone to leave the game, is, I guess. I don't know. They're trying to kill off GTA Online. I don't know why they keep bringing RC vehicles into the game. They did it with the Imani thing. They did it with the tank in Arena War. I think that's what that's from. And I, they did it with the Bandito. And they keep doing it. I don't know why. But stop. Rockstar, please. I will sacrifice not getting Blackout if that doesn't come to fruition. Now, one I'm pretty confident in, they're going to release another GTA 6 teaser about a month or so before the GTA Online update. Because, you know, that's what they did last year. I think they're going to do that again. Because, you know, the amount of views that that online trailer got was ridiculous. And it wasn't even a good GTA Online trailer. So if we go to videos on Rockstar, let's just, you know, press popular. <clears throat> okay, so yeah, oh yeah, we got the GTA 6 trailer. What a surprise. GTA 5, of course. Iconic. 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 What the fuck is this shit? They're going to use the GTA 6 teaser trailer too to boost GTA Online trailer and hype it up even more because we're Rockstar. They're not stupid. And here's my free space. Can you guess what the image is? I'll give you a second. I'll give you a second. It's me. We're going to get new Xmas game modes. Now, they've already done it for um, October and Halloween, so I guess that didn't even count anyway. Obviously, they're releasing new modes. I have a feeling they're going to do that again for Christmas because, you know, this might be our last Christmas in GTA Online, so they're going to do it. They're going to release a whole bunch of them. And yeah, I'm super hyped. Oh yeah, I love Christmas. Now, here's my original prediction for the cars. They're gonna give us a car over three mil. That's pretty fucking light. Let's do 4.5. They're gonna give us a supercar over 4.5 million. <laughs> because why not? Now, honestly, I'm probably gonna get this one wrong. I don't think they're gonna do that, but you know, they're probably gonna do that. Let's just be honest, they're gonna do that, aren't they? Yeah, they're fucking gonna do that. Next, they're gonna give us new free mode events. Definitely wasn't running out of ideas at this point. They're going to give us new free mode events. They're going to do things like the payphone missions. Even though it was locked behind other missions, it still counts as a free mode mission. So they're going to do something like that. They're going to give us new free mode events. I don't think they did it with... Um, I don't think they did it in the last update. Last few updates. Oh, wait, no. They had the tow truck missions. That counts. Next, for this update, you're going to have to buy an overpriced property. This is pretty fucking obvious. Um... I don't know what else to say. Like, in the bounty hunting thing, you had to buy an office for, like, $3 million or something. Isn't that right? A random office for $3 million. And nothing in there is worth $3 million. Not even the fucking missions. So, my next prediction is another YouTuber-related one. MetPro Respawns. They are going to come back for this update. MetPro is going to respawn. They are going to check out the new update. And they're going to come back. I don't think they even uploaded this year, but they're going to come back for this update specifically. Especially if they do a GTA trailer, because they're going to try to ride off that hype. I'm... But yeah, my prediction, MetPro will return, you know, because they haven't uploaded it all this year, so they're going to do something, I'm pretty sure. Uh, they might even upload, like, today, I don't know, uh, it's a Saturday, seems like a perfect day to upload, but they probably won't, so, we'll see. Next prediction, this is a pretty fucking hairy one, Michael will return. I personally don't think Michael's going to return, he could, but I don't think so, but we'll have to see. I personally think Michael will return in, like, like, if it's a reference, it'll still count. Michael will return in some way, shape, or form, but uh, I don't know if he's going to return like physical form. We're not going to get any missions with him. I don't think so, but it still counts with the bingo card if it does happen. Next, we're going to get a GTA 6 top comment on the next GTA Online update trailer. It's going to be the top comment. It's just going to be like, put GTA 6 in the bag, bro. That's what they're going to do. GTA 6 related top comment for the next GTA Online trailer. Next in GTA Online, they're going to give us a t-shirt to remind us that GTA 6 is releasing. Pretty obvious they love to give us t-shirts to remind us of stuff you know maybe not a fucking free car or something but you know now nah, we'll get a t-shirt next they're gonna give us a new overpriced gun it's gonna be like i would say 250k or above i'd consider that an overpriced fucking gun so you know that seems to be the new price but it's still overpriced so yeah it's a bit overpriced especially considering most of the rifles that they released that are over 200k or pretty ass so 
that's my prediction. I think that's what they're going to do. <laughs> Next up, they're going to give us a new radio station. Um, they've done it every other update so far for like the past couple years now. So I think they're going to give us a new radio station. No one's going to listen to it. Nobody's going to care. But they're going to promote it and, you know, they're going to try to get people to listen to it. But ultimately, it's not going to happen. Um, yeah, I don't think I've listened to any of the new radio stations they've released in GTA Online. I'm just going to say that. I don't think I did. So, yeah, um, new radio station's going to happen, but nobody's going to listen. Next, they're going to give us a new map update. Um, I'm not just talking about, like, uh, like in the free mode, I don't think that's gonna happen. We're not getting a free mode map update, but we're probably gonna get um, more like a mission map. Like they're gonna give us a new map in missions, like they did with the North Yankton thing. They're gonna give us a new one, or like the ATT thing, which I don't think that counts as a new map, but uh, it's a new game mode with a map that's never been used before in game modes. So I think that counts. I don't know, um, but yeah, uh, I think they're gonna give us some sort of new map update. It'll be it won't be a crazy one, but they're gonna give us some sort of new map and the Christmas update. Maybe it'll be a Christmas theme. I don't know. And finally, this one. The one we've all been waiting for and the one that we all know is going to happen even though we're hiding our pain. They're going to give us shitty pay. That's what's going to happen. Uh, and that's my final prediction. They're going to give us really shit pay. We're going to get like $2,000 to fucking kill someone because lives mean nothing in GTA because everyone responds to the hospital. <laughs> and uh, yeah, um... Those are my predictions. Let me know what your thoughts are. Um, you know, pretty great predictions. I might get blackout. I don't know though. I mean, it's kind of all depending on GTA men's crash out. Uh, <laughs> no, no, no smoke coming towards you, GTA men. I just think it's really funny when you get mad. So yeah, um, that's all I got today. Until next time, boys. Bye bye.